Hey, welcome to Golden Shark, guys. The only two assets that I have ever seen for this map are Elevator and Cafe Celebration. There's been three for every other map, and I can't think of ever having another one here. So either I just haven't received it yet, or I've completely forgot it exists. Let me know in the comments if you know. Uh, anyway, for the favors, uh, Elevator Access is absolutely phenomenal if you're doing stealth. This opens up an elevator in the final portion of the map. Uh, where you could just move stuff straight out of the vault down the elevator shaft and you're basically at the van There's only two guards down there So if you've taken out say cameras, you can get one for free and it's a very very easy exit on a full pull Normally, I don't do full pulls in these guides. I've just been showing people minimum, but for this map. It's the same bloody thing Unless you just leave early So we're gonna get it and I'll show it off cafe celebration moves a bunch of civilians into the upstairs area from the main entrance It's upstairs to your right. They all have a party up there I actually find that this makes moving through that part of the map a little bit harder, and that's the part of the map I use. So no, we're not getting that. Zipline bag is uh, not good for stealth. It's all right for loud. It opens up a thing on the roof, uh, allows you to move stuff through the lobby instead of up through the stairwell, but I prefer the stairwell anyway, and this is a stealth guide. So we'll be talking mostly about elevator access. All right, golden shark. It's got a pretty simple opener. There's actually not very many sketchy moments in it, especially if you stay not masked up for, I don't know, pretty much the whole heist. I usually only mask at the end when I'm ready to kill cams and I have most of the money. So, uh, on an easy start, best route that you guys can do as soon as you start is come up and look in this window into this office. If you can ping and see an accountant in there or whatever they're supposed to be, you know that that's the room you need to go into to get the red key card. I can't ping one. Either way, I come in right now and grab a layout, QR code the from the phones. The it's either going to be on this desk to my left, that desk over there, Access or that the right there, but it will always be here. If you're doing a, a full pull kind of strat department. and you want all the You'll loot, the I suggest the going into the storage clearance. areas. There are some lockers in here. In these lockers is some free cash. As far as I know, towards the meter at the end for completion, this free cash actually does count. Uh, I don't really care for the purposes of this video. I'm just showing you guys. So the one office was up there. Back here will be Brown's office. And over here will be Jaeger's office. It's most likely Jaeger or Ackerman, I've noticed. It's the Attack there. on Titan references. I don't know about the dude in the back left. I don't know who the hell that is. Uh, I don't know what to tell you about them, but... They rarely are the guy if i come in here there's a guard right there right now i don't want to deal with that so i'm going to wait a second till he leaves probably going to get seen from really quick when he turns around i could hack his phone and maybe go for a cheeky play on the locked door i don't think it's worth it i'd have to pick up rush from somebody and then try and pull that off and yeah it's faster but what's the guard? i don't want him here anyway so I'm going to pick up my rush by getting seen for a half second. Let him go do his thing. Camera's looking away. Perfect. If you don't have a code for Eric's office, you can come in here and get one from the lockers. This is another set of lockers that could have some loot for you as well. I think those ones probably have... Oh, Nobody with I didn't. The ability to pull what Shark did to you I knew of another levels. one, and I didn't grab it. All right, we'll so... Speak of, there's the oxygen. Feelings. Here's the phone. There's a little bit of extra money. We can grab those if we want them. Oxygen's only for loud, though, so I don't care. Scan this QR code really quick. We'll go into Jaeger's office. Civilian. You don't want to get seen by Jaeger. If you get seen by him, you'll have to mask up and deal with him. So the goal here is to sneak in behind him. I could see this clipping through. Could be in the piles, could be in any of the drawers, but we could see it. So we grab the key card real quick. Without getting seen, this allows us to non-mask come up here. If you go into loud at the beginning, you can drag him out and push him against this to open this without having to cut open. through it. Sesame. We're not dealing with that, though. We'll come up here and take a look That's at the, the code options. The we won't get through without uh, the code. 8120 or some shit. I don't fucking know. I usually let my the chat play with that. Somewhere on the upper floor. Find it and but we're, up for the so purposes of a guide, going to do all code. objectives and not just sit there and brute force it like idiots. These black boxes in the four corners are important for another objective later. You should just be aware of where they are. There's only two patrolling guards up here, one on the left and one on the right. They have their own little close patrol routes, so they should be super easy to avoid. 
And because we're not masked up, okay, I'm in. if they see you, take long. you're not caught. You can let them escort you out. You can hack their phone and reset their memory or whatever the hell happens there. That's the guard the seeing guard. me through the window. Keep tabs on the server room. We don't want any employees stumbling So we hit the, the server hotline. room and then either this room or the room on the far side is going to show up as you have to go in there to stop the fact that we screwed up the server hack. So I already know that way ahead of time. I'm just going to come over here and wait. Might be this room, might be that room. It doesn't hurt to just break into one and sit. If you have friends, just tell them to go into a room. Oh, for fuck's sake. It was this one, so we'll get the computer hack. Protocols. Find the IT office and get me you have to sit here and wait this out. Then we'll have to go finish that, in. and that'll give us the password to get into the front door. The only other thing we need to figure out is the blue key card, which is in... To my knowledge, one of two places, but it could be in more. I don't know. It just depends on the number of times you've run this map in stealth, and I usually run with friends who will happily run through and do a bunch of these objectives for me while I'm screwing around with the keypad with my chat. So we'll grab that. There we go. Open this. Don't know where this guard is currently. Okay, there he is. What's the guard? So he gave me a rush, so the camera no longer cares about me. Like I said, there's one guard on either side. Usually it'll be like this guy, or I haven't seen it in this character model, but this guy will have the keycard in his belt. I don't see it on his belt. That means I have to find it. The location I know of is right here, so we'll come back and reset that up. Then I'll go in here, touch these guys so they can't see me. There's the keycard. So now we have blue keycard and red keycard. We'll pop in here and wait. This is almost done. Having rush and the perk that allows you to have rush and the guards not see you in private area or cameras not see you in private areas is fantastic is for making cameras outbreak. basically there pointless. Four possible codes, but only one of them is the right one. See if you can puzzle out which it is. As long as I keep that juiced up, only the guards can see me and get mad at me and I can just hack their phones. So we'll come over here. They're in the middle of an upgrade. It's 8102 because those are the ones we have. 102. There we go. Boom. That'll get us There's in. Put a camera there. The first time you come in, the first thing that will happen is that guard will spawn. And then he will walk right there and lean there and be a pain in the ass. Yeah, he's got really good vision and so does the camera. And if he sees you doing this, even though you're in a secure area and it, he shouldn't see you at all, he'll be like, oh my god, I have to arrest you because you're not masked up. All right, so first color switches. it's showing me there Just is green. Sure there the are right four switches. colors I have to figure out. Now that he's walked away, I can leave. There's four boxes out here, but you only really use three of them because there's a permanent guard back in that corner that doesn't move, makes that last one a pain in the ass. Oh, back up. I hear stomping. What's the guard? Yeah, sure enough, there's a guard. There's a camera there, and I don't want to deal with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk over here. Pop in for a sec to get close to those guys and get our rush. Now, because this is only a private area, the camera does not care. Run over, flip green. All right, great. Now, Run back. Hold on. Something's different. Don't sprint inside Go of here or you might piss off that guard and nobody wants to deal with that. So now I can see that it's red. So we're gonna come back out here again and go to the other side. This is way better to have rush with this because this camera is actually looking at it. But here we go. Red didn't need it. Boxes. Check the, the, guard. Upper floor. the guard for this side again. Like I said, this guy normally has the key card. Doesn't right now. We're going to use him for some more rush. Your guard stomping around above me. Want to get in and out quick. It's white. I don't want him to be leaning there and to make myself or make me have to wait for him again. So we'll do that. We're out here. I saw that the guard was just going over there, so we'll get a new set of rush. Which means nobody's over here to see me right now. Uh, the camera. And then we'll open this. And like I said, it was white. We'll flip white. And we've managed to dodge him being in the one spot that I hate. There's the camera. Oh, and there he is again, being a pain in my ass. Last color, green. Good. 
Now no, we're ready to turn that screen. off. Great. Deactivated. I hate this card so much. All right. Next up, you'll need a blue key card to unlock the vault. And also, you need to send a remote. You can swing into that corner and push him. I just. Computer. I haven't really worked on it enough to do it backwards yet when to feel safe. It's just, I wait for him. Computer. You'll have just enough time to get back here and open the vault with the blue key card. This guard hopefully going to go in there. Yep. This is a private area, so I can sprint. We'll come over here, pop the key card, go into here, steal all your money, because of course I will. That's reset. Okay, Click that. This puts us on a timer you can see in the top left hand corner, Hurry. but we know where that guard is. There's only one guard per side. I can just sprint on through. It does not matter. I know that this guy's not going to be leaning in the spot I hate because I left with him in the spot I hate. And then, because I have to swipe the key card and I'm under time, I am actually going to hack that and loop it for the... F right, they say five seconds, but it really doesn't, you know? Camera. It doesn't feel very five to me. All right, now the vault's open. I have no reason to ever leave here again. So, I have a personal hate for this card because there's a camera in the vault. And I don't want to dodge the camera and dodge the camera on the outside and move all the loot. And that's it's totally doable. It's not the hardest thing in the world, but why do it when you don't have to? So here is usually when I mask up, I leave the guy up top doing his thing. Uh, right, that camera can be very things. easily LOS right now. It can't see me because the gold there, it wouldn't be able to see me I if I did this. It's, it's very easy to work around. I don't care. This isn't a video about pacifists. This isn't a video about any of that shit. This is just good old, easy, quick pull. How do you get in and out of the map? What are all the objectives? There is a challenge for walking the loot out down the stairs, but, you know. Also, this camera, you can just challenge when it's on and walk out like I just did like that, and it will never see you. But again... Why, why, when I don't have to? Uh, for some people, I can see challenging that because there's two guards in the final area out the elevator. That way you could kill them all. You can make the bottom area your bitch. But I prefer having the cameras off because there's also cameras down there. If you're doing a pacifist, you don't want to kill anybody. Super easy to leave the cameras up. Also, you can just dominate the guard. Technically, he's not dead. It is a pacifist run. I know that technicality counts because it's how we did spec ops. And I will hopefully be releasing a video on how to do spec ops. Super easy is an achievement. Because there are super easy ways to take it by doming two specific guards. So most of the map is just free to you and there's no cameras. But that's for a different time. Right now, I am just stealing, I don't know, everything. I wasn't going to do a full pull because I don't want this video to be particularly long. So I might stop a little early just for your guys' sake. You get it. This is the whole map now, right? We're just looting. Just be aware of that guy. He can be a prick. If he sees you, you can kill him, but it means that you can't kill anybody on the escape or in the final area, which if I'm being honest with you, that's much more annoying than that guy walking around upstairs. So try not to get seen. Get it to not the, the end of the world, though. Again, you could do this pacifist with the same strategies and it wouldn't wouldn't be too bad. And the spot he just left is the only spot I think that's like an actual pain in my ass for him. So long as I don't sprint in the secure area and upset him for noise, everything else very, very simple. We just loot and walk and loot and walk. If you want full pull, you can see the steel and secure has gone up 7%. That's for the loose change that I've picked up. There's that locker room I showed off in the very beginning. There's that second locker room next to Eric Yeager's office that I showed off. And there's another locker room downstairs in the garage area i think you can get like 10 percent of your total loot by looting these which means they do count in some regard to a full pull so if you're interested in doing that make sure you hit those three rooms they're very easy to get to one at the beginning when you don't have a mask one at the end when you're already moving loot and just make sure to stop in by eric's office on your way through i think i probably have enough loot to stop gathering bags 
But I mean, hey, fuck it. Just take it all, whatever. There's only three bags left in there. that the bags have physics now at least more than the slide physics they had before also my kingdom for the transporter tree coming coming soon double bag pick up extra bag throw distance ah oh, it's gonna be good As the NPC said, we've cleaned her out. We're good to go. So we come down in here. Thank God in Payday 3, there's no delay between picking up bags again like there was in Payday 2. I hated that for all like 2,400 hours I played the game. Oh, didn't want to hit that. All right, everything's down. I got to look around and be sure because the other day I looked up and a bag was just there and I think it got thrown there when the door opened. Uh, if you're not killing anybody, pick up all your loot in the elevator and put it into this corner because a guard does actually patrol this hallway and there's a chance for him to come all the way down to the end and be next to the elevator so if everything's nicely tucked up here there's no way he sees it that said we are going to kill him there he is so there are two guards down here him and the guy out there this guy is the more annoying of the two he does a full Hi, so, uh, yeah, I rectangular patrol route let me when just get his thing out of the way he'll walk here only in emergencies or this is private you can so sprint he'll run all the way down here because i just saw he'll come really out this door problem. he'll walk down he'll check the vending machine like right there and then he'll go in the other door okay. he can also do that in the reverse route. The guard? that's the other guard he Where's walks the guard? from there to the back or the front of the van and back again Ooh, there's also a mailman and somebody at the end talking on their phone uh the one at the end i actually find to be a bit of a pain in the ass and i usually take them out this is that last locker room i was talking about if you're looking for loose cash we're gonna move this because i'm using this door and uh i don't want his friends to see him in such a state wiping his browser history doing everything i can for that guy so we pop this open the there is the guard that patrols there's the guy that likes to sit there on his phone and be a pain in my ass they can both see you when they're at this point um i could have just gone straight back there it doesn't matter this is a private area though so you can sprint i do often if not kill that guy i'll wait till the guard and the mailman are looking the other way and uh i take care of him his eyes are blocked by that bar though so you know if you're smooth with it you don't have to touch him i do like killing him though and with the guard down at the far end you can just run back and forth and that's the whole map that's golden shark it's a very simple map this guide was a little bit longer than i wanted it to be but yeah it's it's not a particularly hard one you just go for min pole it's looking like it's probably like a seven eight bag thing that's six maybe it's a bit, maybe maybe my math is off that's seven bags seven is eight so what it's ten so basically you got to take the whole bloody place out here. yeah sometimes he looks at the back of that truck instead of actually paying any attention to what's going on in front of him I think if you have all of the loose, you can do eight. That's nine. But otherwise, yeah, that's gold shark. That's ten bags. It's a nice, easy map. If you kill specifically this guard, then your exit's really easy. Very convenient, very nice. One bag left. If you don't have elevator trick, 
which you know fair not everybody has it then my suggestion and i will maybe go show you the route after i drop everything off we'll drop the server off have our escape ready cool so if you don't have elevator trick the route that i take is this door from the other side it's currently qr locked give me a sec Okay, cool. You can take either side. This one comes up behind the tellers. Uh, it's more direct when you get out of the teller area, but there's a guard that very specifically patrols back there. The guy we dodged right at the very beginning when we went into Eric Yeager's office. So I like to use this one. There's a challenge for using the stairs to move all the bags. So we pop that. If you do this backwards and come down, you don't need a QR code. You can just open it. There's a guard that patrols right to here. He's not here right now. There's someone there. There's a civvy right there. There can be a guard Mark, that goes down there. there. He's there right now. There's one Spotted right there. The That's the guy that'll come down to here, I think. There's this dude, I think, turns? I'm hoping that this isn't the guy that comes to me. What was that noise? I'm just going to distract him because I don't feel like it. But this is the route you take. You come through here. Just be aware of where he is when you come down and where the other guy is. And you can just go straight on through. This leads right to the vault. If you're not masked up like I wasn't, like if you choose not to kill the cameraman and you're moving everything out of there kind of slowly that way, like I said, you can walk right on that camera and you're fine. Uh, this is a private area. That's a public area. You can just walk past the guards and ferry it downstairs. It's super, super easy. If you are masked up, this is a little bit more Mark, complicated, but it's the same thing. You just do what I'm doing right now. Walk right here through the lobby. Guard patrols down to here. The guy that's right over There's there right now, he's doing that circuit. So be aware of where he is and what he's doing. He could be running backwards. A lot of circuits can be done in reverse, but that's what he'll be doing. That guy right there, he runs the big square in the main lobby. Those are the two guards that might see you. If they don't see you, they don't see you. You just need to be aware of where they are. It's one or the other. You can use throwing knives like I just did to turn guards around if they're in the way. You can hack their phones. There's lots and lots of routes to just turn their attention and easily get through this map. For now, though, we've done a full pull. That's all the loot except for the loose cash in the lockers, and that's Golden Shark. Hope this helped. Hope you guys are enjoying. Happy heisting. And uh, enjoy. I gotta get off to record the rest of the maps. Later.